Hi everybody, thank you for joining me today. We're going to continue on what we learned last week. And so what I'm doing now is I'm taking the double-sided tape again. And I just realized it wasn't last week, it was probably the week before. But anyway, when we did the stickers with the fishies and the mica powder, the mica flakes. So we're going to kind of continue on that same premise. Now this one is silver and it actually has butterflies in it. It actually had butterflies, flowers, and leaves. I already used the flowers on something else and um, I don't remember exactly what it was. It was probably on a card or something and I just added them as accents. Well now this I'm getting ready to attach the butterflies to this sticky tape just like how we did uh, the fishes the other week and on this one I actually laid it down but I didn't move it over to the right enough and there's a little bit of the butterfly that's hanging off so once I get the other two butterflies on I'm actually gonna wind up stopping the video and trying to move that butterfly only because it's really um, it won't look complete if it's not fully on the sticky okay um, now once I get all my pieces onto my double-sided tape I will fussy cut all the pieces out so I'm gonna have the three butterflies and then I'm also gonna have four leaves that I'm gonna um, have on here too that I'm gonna cut out and I just do that because it's easier and um, I don't wind up wasting any of my powder or beads or whatever it is that I'm using um, because I want to make sure that it's only sticking where I want it and you can see me here you know it looks like I'm uh, seriously like it's fighting me you know so I'm trying to just get these few pieces down so I can get to cutting and um, get ready to move that one butterfly over some and I think there's just one or two more pieces I gotta lay down and I'm just some of the little bits were coming off as I was pulling up the stickers and I just wanted to make sure um, that I wasn't having them stick to uh, this, the double sided tape as well and you can see right there I can see I'm trying to pull it off and the whole thing with these stickers I don't know what it is but these silver ones felt thinner than the gold ones and as I was peeling it off I wound up um, breaking it actually but once I fussy cut it out I got in this purple pack there was um, crystals like um, glitter crystals there was mica flakes and I'm just showing you um, the different butterflies as I fill them in I'm sorry there was a little bit of a jump there but um, during the camera stuff I realized that I had not turned on the camera when I started those two valves I was showing you there they're actually embossing powder and I didn't use those because I wanted the flakes and stuff like that to stick to it so in a separate jar from the purple items that I had um, that I showed in the beginning photo I also had some of these I think it's scarlet for the flakes so I wanted to show you what it would look like with that as well now I will say out of all of the flakes the original mica flakes that we used with the fish that other week they went on way easier I don't know if it's because of the brand um, I want to say they're all stampendous but I just I don't know what it is about those um, mica flakes but they just were not working very friendly and actually I wind up I felt like a lot of the flakes were coming off 
and I it was getting frustrating actually because I was thinking this was so much easier like they, it almost seemed like they melted into the sticky and these I it was like I couldn't even get them to stick so sometimes you know for whatever reason I find sometimes products work sometimes they don't they may work for other people this particular one um, gave me a little bit of a fight so what I decided to do was um, i would gotten most of the red off and I decided to go ahead and grab the original flakes that we used last week and fill in with that because I was like you know what this should be going in a lot easier and it wasn't and I just couldn't understand it so now you're seeing I'm grabbing my stencil brush and it's gonna go way easier and that's all I'm doing is trying to take the brush and anywhere where there was still white I'm just um, just kind of tapping at the mica flakes because I don't want it's not that I'm trying to like scrape them off I'm just trying to get them to stick in where I have the open bits and we're filling in and by the time I do this part I'm a lot happier about how this particular one turned out and we're just stippling just very similar to what we did before and like I said these particular um, jars of flakes they were way better at sticking to this double uh, the double stick tape than some of the other ones it was they were a little bit more of a pain but these beautiful and maybe it works better as a combination um, I don't know but like if I were to do it again that's what I would do I would put the red on as much as it would stick and then I would go back to these and fill in the rest basically and then there you go isn't that cool I think these are so cool <laughs> I love it and the fact I, I need to do this actually I want to do one more video where I use um, like a die cuts I think I have maybe I'll have to I don't want to have to wait until Christmas but I have these ornament dies where you have the solid piece and then you have the intricate design that could go on top and I was just thinking wouldn't it be cool to like do the solid piece have the mica and flakes stick to that and then put like an embossed glossy black design on top that would be so cool <laughs> ideas okay so for the leaves I decided to use I had two different sets that um, the same friend who sent me the mica flakes Miss Christina she sent these other two pieces um, which are beads they're like micro beads which we all know you can use those in shaker cards but I wanted to show that you could actually use it in this too because you press down until they are you know sticking to the double sided you know the double stick tape and it does work and I loved using the green and it actually made it look like a leaf I was like this is nice but I will tell you they roll all over the place so yeah good luck with that and be careful so if you have a lot of like little animals and stuff like that around I have a cat so I have to scrape mine um, what was left over I just put it into the trash only because those bottles are so tiny trying to get that back in I was like I'm not in the mood so we're gonna move on and then I decided that for the other leaves I was gonna try something different I was gonna use the glitter the green glitter but then I was like well let's try the gold and see how it looks you know once we have the gold uh, glitter in it and it turned out the glitter actually had a seal so that's what I'm doing right there I'm trying to get the top off so I can get the, the seal out and we all know the fun part with glitter once you start using it it seems like it just 
goes everywhere. I try to use as little as possible. And I'm just pressing it in. The, the, main, the main thing you want to remember, especially with the glitter and with the micro beads, is that you want to press them in as hard as you can. If you can't press them down hard enough, then get your bone folder, especially with the glitter, and rub it in. That will minimize any type of glitter falling off of the project. But you gotta, you know, really varnish it. Burnish it, Lord. Alright, so I wanted to show you these kind of up close. So you see the gold glitter with the green beads on the leaves. That's the one with the um, bronze mica flakes. Now this one is with actually the glitter. Because there was a, um, a dark purple, uh, I think it was like a glass, I think they said it was, glitter glass or something like that. And then the other one, I used a combination of uh, purple flakes, this one right here that you see, the purple flakes and some of the glitter. Alright, well thank you guys so much for joining me today. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and please share. And I will see you guys next week with our next video.